Hey everyone, Jessica here, and I'm really excited to bring you this tutorial today, which um, uh, some of you have already previewed if you follow me on Instagram. So uh, for the Met Ball this year, the theme was camp, and I was really inspired by this outfit that Cara Delevingne wore, which was Dior Couture, and it really fit in with the camp scene, and I love a rainbow, so I was totally obsessed. And I started looking at the behind the scenes and seeing how it was made. It's very cool and I like that they had these little like rainbow tubings that were going all around her look and it turned out really fun and if you know me you know I love a rainbow so I thought it would be really cool to kind of um, make a fun crazy Photoshop brush inspired by this so it's kind of inspired by this tubing so I'm gonna show you how I made that so let's pop over here to Photoshop and so um, really quick a look here so I wanted like all these different colors in the brush as like tubes so I made a really tall brush so it's um but you can adapt this to your needs maybe you only want a few colors or something you know but for me I wanted all the colors that I saw in this look and I really wanted to make a brush inspired by this so I just went and took my circle tool and I made a bunch of circles and spaced them out and everything and filled them with the colors from the dress basically sampled the colors from the dress and that's how I started with this and then what I need to do now that I have this together and I've got it in a group I'm gonna go ahead and do um, a black color overlay and if you're an all-access member you can just um, I've got my little like essential styles here you can um, but you can download this actually I have this on your member dashboard so if you like to kind of follow along with me but otherwise you just make a black color overlay. So I'm just gonna go here, go to FX um, color overlay and you can make it black or whatever. And I've got it on normal. But if you remember, just click black. And so, because if I'm wanting to make a brush, I need it to be black for full, for full opacity. So that's good to go. So basically I'm gonna make this a brush now. So I'm gonna put my selection over this and I'm going to go to edit. Uh, define brush preset and I can just call this dots and click OK or most of you um, you can also use a keyboard shortcut command K if you're on a Mac to make a brush which I do because I make brushes all the time so now I'm just going to clear this layer style and I've got my original colors and the thing is is if I keep it like this and paint a brush stroke it's not going to be that exciting because it's going to be kind of flat. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this whole group here. First off, I'm going to duplicate it. I always want to save my original. And now I'm going to right click here and merge this group so it's all like a, a raster layer. And up here I have made four different bevel and emboss layer styles and I flipped the shadow on both styles. There's two styles, but it's flipped the shadow either way. So all I have to do now is go up here, and I always have most of the time auto select on in Photoshop, so it'll auto select this layer. So I'm selecting this layer here, and I'm going to copy that layer style. I use keyboard shortcuts for this, um, but you can also go to like, lay. Um, you can actually right click on the layer and go to copy layer style and then go over here and paste the layer style and so that's going to add this layer style to this and then I can sample from this so I'm going to go ahead and just show you um, how that works so uh, I'm going to go over here on my left hand side and I want to get my mixer brush and it might be on yours it might be underneath the regular brush but I use it all the time so I have it already on its own little thing I've got my mixer brush. I'm going to go to my brushes and I'm going to get that dots that we just had gotten, that we just created dots. And we're just going to, you've got a lot of different settings up here, but just to do fast, let's go to dry heavy load because that's the one I use a lot. So now I'm ready to pick up this color. But remember, this is a bevel and emboss on the layer style. So if I select this right now, it's going to select a flat color. I need to make sure, I need to go over to my layer after I've beveled and embossed it. I need to right click and I need to go to rasterize layer style. 
now it's 100% raster and now I when I go to I'm going to line this up you can see your brush preview here I'm going to hover over this and I'm going to hit option and tap down and that's loaded those colors into the matching brush area so I have picked up the colors and if you look up here you've got your little um, you can see the preview right there of that picked up colors and now I'm going to go over to my demo here and I've got this peach background like I have on um, it kind of imitates the skin tone I'm going to go over here remember I have dry heavy load selected so it's not going to blend and mix and I on this one I've got my brush smoothing kind of cranked up because otherwise it might look a little jaggy and then I'm just going to go and have some fun like this you can see all the cool things and it looks like tubing you know without any layer styles because you could pick up flat color like this and add a bevel and emboss later but it's not going to be the same and so you can do like all kinds of cool things and have fun and experiment and just do so much fun so that's a little preview and and so you can do this yourself now you can do whatever colors you want but you get the principle of it um and you know you can use mine as a jumping off point so if you're an all access member i'm going to give you all of these things so you're going to have um uh, the the base thing like you saw to begin with so that you can do whatever you like um, also I've created this one where I have created the this is the color palette inspired by Cara Delevingne and it's got all the different four emboss styles on it and I have a second one which is really cool I'm gonna show you this one I sampled the colors from Lupita I think it's Nyong'o but from this Versace look and I thought this was another really cool like gradient here so I sampled all these colors and I created this sample for you to choose from and then I've got all the um, different uh, bevel and emboss styles so that way you can just go um, and you can uh, if you're an all access member you can get the dots brush like you don't have to do all the stuff that I just showed you you can load up your dots brush you can go over here and let's pick one of these um, these uh, you know options here. I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to grab my brush. I'm going to hover over this. I'm going to option select to pick up that color. Oops, I had my regular brush and not my mixer brush. Let's go back here. Um, I'm going to hover over this option select to pick up that color and let's go over to my demo let me put a pink background here and then I'm just gonna do the same thing and you can have some fun with that and it's really cool and what was I doing before there was some yeah you can just do like so many really interesting patterns how cool is this so that is with a dry it's not mixing but I love the effect you can make some really cool backgrounds for cards or social media or digital papers or whatever, you know. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you is that you can change it and play with it. You can make, these are the different options like up here. You could have a wet heavy mix, so let's make a new one. And then that way whenever you cross over each other it's going to blend a little bit. So it's really fun to experiment and you can kind of, you know, have some fun with it. You can try all the different options you know see how it goes moist heavy mix this one like when it's moist basically once you draw it the first thing you draw is gonna be like not, like it's gonna make the mark but then when you go over it it'll just move a little bit the original that's kind of moist so you can get some different effects personally um the wet one can kind of be fun sometimes too it can make some really fun very cool gradients the thing is like I try not to do too many crossovers because then it can get a little bit muddy when you cross over some other strokes like too many times like a few times can be really cool like that can look really neat but if you know you cross it over a bunch 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 it's just gonna be like a muddy muddy mess but a lot of times I'm using this dry heavy load 
So it's just, um, it doesn't interact with the other colors, but you've got that really cool tubing sort of thing. And this looks like 3D or it looks like it was really hard to make, but it's all the magic of Photoshop brushes. So that is really freaking cool. And there's another one that I, I wanted to show you. So when I made the dots brush, I didn't do anything here. So the spacing is like all close together. But um, if you want, I also like um, when you download this, there's a dots with spacing. So here, let's go back to my brush. The original dots brush has like a 10% spacing. So it's... Um, it's gonna like all, you know, go together solidly. But I made a second one that's called dot spacing and I spaced it out to like 150 on the brush panel here. And so that way they're not touching and so it doesn't blend that um, into a tubing sort of thing. And I'm gonna show you how that's gonna look and it's actually really cool. So I'm gonna go to my setup that's ready to sample here and I will go, and let, first of all, I need to select which layer I want to sample from. So I'm going to go to the last one. I'm going to go to my mixer brush. I've got that, oh, let's get my dots space brush, okay? And I'm going to hover over that. I am going to option and click to load those colors. I want to make sure they look precise. Option click, load those colors up. Let's go back to my demo. And I'm actually gonna take this down a little bit. And you can resize the brush even after you've sampled it and it's gonna, it'll sample down the colors and stuff. And I'm gonna go like this and you can see it makes these really cool little like dots and it keeps that little bevel, but they it doesn't blend because they're not touching each other. But what's cool about this is you can make some really cool like little uh, sort of, what do you call it, like pave crystal sort of effect. And I am going to have to make some, I actually just kind of was messing around with this and I'm going to have to make some little uh, backgrounds on this. And you could even take it a step further, which I think would be really cool, is put a small little drop shadow on it. So I'm going to go down to um, my styles and I'm going to go to like a shadow linear burn number one and put a little bit of a drop shadow, kind of makes it pop and it looks like, really looks kind of um, like crystals, pave. So I think that's really neat. And don't forget, you know, if you're an Alexis member, you can um, download my setup, you know, so you always are kind of synced up with... Uh, me and you can go along with my tutorials but I think that looks super cool and I'm gonna have to make some backgrounds with this because I think it'll be really fun and you can make your own the thing is that's cool is you know you got the principle so say you don't want to have such a tall one but you could take like four or five or three of these dots and make a really cool effect as well you know so it's really quite really quite fun and really you know you could space them out more if you want you could have them overlapping touching play with that but you get the principle, you get the idea. And then don't forget, you're gonna have um, this Photoshop file with the base and the different layer styles. So you can make your own colors, kind of play with that. And then you can download this one, which is all rasterized, all ready to sample. So you can just kind of just jump in, load up your brush and just start painting. And of course, um, if you're an all access, all access member, you can get the dots brush and the dot space brush. But um, I kind of wanted to show you how I did that and how I developed that because it's not just a ready to go brush so much um, as a little bit of a technique, but it's really fun and you can experiment for yourself in your own designs. And this is a little bit of a long tutorial, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. And um, I'll have the files in either, I'll have the files available for all access members straight away, either in the instant access or as a dedicated download. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. And I'm definitely curious to see, um, 
if you like the tutorial and then also if you make something uh, using this method, feel free to send me a link, tag me on Instagram or share it because I would love to see. All right, bye.